So like I mentioned in the previous video, the best way to learn how to use a weapon is to hit something. So, we're going to be uh, working with a short staff, with the jaw. Now the jaw is either both knuckles up, one knuckle up, one knuckle down, or the other way. These are your, your grips, your basic grips that you can do. So what I want you to do against your punching bag, let's say start with left knuckle up, right knuckle down. And try and do just a couple of basic strikes. Don't worry too much about technique, don't be too critical. Take the stick, use it as a baseball bat, smack the stick against your opponent. You're not allowed to change hands. So we're going to stick to this grip. So if I've done this, try and think what would be the next move. I might recoil and do a low strike. I might recoil and strike down on the head. What if I wanted to use my left hand? So I'm going to slide my hands. I'm not changing grip, but I slide my hands. The left side's longer. My left side is. Same thing. I might recoil here. More difficult trying to hit down like this. So certain movements are practical and others aren't. And that's why I say hit something. If you feel you can generate power behind it, then yeah, okay, that wouldn't work against someone. I'm exposing myself here. It's a very awkward position. What would be a better one? Maybe stepping with the left and hitting with the left arm. Changing legs, hitting with the right. This one, without changing arms, bring it over your head and strike on this side. Maybe bring an upward strike. Okay, now, how about some stabs? You could stab with the front side. I'm not gonna stab too hard because then I'm gonna damage my punching bag, but you can understand that's gonna be some serious damage to your opponent. Now, with this, I'm not going to open up my elbows. You learn this in grappling, you learn this in boxing. Wherever, elbows in, cover. So when you're stabbing, this is bad. You want close. Let's do a strike in here. Watch, I keep the arms down. I'm not flaring up the elbows. So while you are hitting, start checking. Are my elbows down? Can I stab from here? That would do some damage. So good, this is a, a strike that I can use. Maybe I'll strike here, around, I'm back to a stab and now I'm starting to put in some combinations and you'll start feeling okay this is flowing this moves and there's impact right once you've done let's say two minutes of left knuckles up right knuckles down just go ahead change hands practice without changing in between for two minutes, how you would be hitting now with the left knuckles up, what works, ah, okay, this doesn't work, so what would work here, if I change legs, then I've got more power because I can put body weight behind me, so hit something, try and hit it nice and hard, this works better than this. So get the feeling of your body weight behind each and every technique. Once you've done two minutes of that, let's go to the last option we've got, both knuckles up. So I've got both knuckles up. Again, we are striking. I might strike from this side. I might stab. I might strike this side. I might stab, I might stab down, I could push my opponent away, a little bit more limited as to what you can do, but you need to know how to use this as well. Right, now what you have done, two minutes of that, so you've done your left knuckles up, right down, other way, both knuckles up. I don't recommend both knuckles down. That's very limited. So, your next exercise is going to be two minutes of having to change grip. And for now, don't worry about how you change grip. You can just change this hand and change that hand. For now, keep it simple. 
if you can change quick, do so. But you have to change in between each strike. So let's say I've got both knuckles up, I hit here. Now I've got my right knuckles down, I hit here. I do a swap, I hit, I'm back to this one, I push, I change my right hand, I stab, change both hands, I hit, change one hand, push, change one hand, hit, and you try and change grip with every single strike that you do. Good. Once you've done two minutes of that, so now you're on your fourth round, so we'll make it a, a nice 10 minute workout. You add some legs to it, or you add some elbow strikes to it. Anything in between the stick, or the impact for the stick. So let's say I start with a strike. I need to do something else. So you could imagine someone's holding the stick, you can't move it, punch him, grab the stick again, push him, right, what next, kick him, hit him. From there, come in, imagine you're hooking behind the head, knee kick, strike, maybe round kick, strike, so whatever, other technique, you might be hitting, bringing an elbow in there, you might be pushing, giving a headbutt. The reason for that training is to help you remember within the fight that this is not the only thing you've got to fight with. Someone grabs this from your hands, start fighting with whatever else you've got until you can get to a point where you can use this to its maximum advantage again. Right, so that's a 10 minute workout, have fun, and then come back with some basics.